The equipment you'll need to perform reproducible jointing of DuraPipe Superflow ABS includes pipe cutter, chamfering tool, tape measure and pencil, cloth to wipe off excess cement, DuraPipe ABS one step solvent cement, eco cleaner, paintbrush, and solvent resistant gloves. Whenever you are jointing using solvent cement, it's recommended to wear the appropriate PPE. It's important to make sure the pipe is cut clean and square. The wheel cut is best for this job, but a carpenter's saw could be used as long as any swarf that's created is removed. A saw is often used on larger diameter pipes. Chamfer the end of the pipe using an appropriate chamfering tool or a coarse file. For optimal jointing, the chamfer should be approximately 45 degrees. Measure the insertion depth of the fitting, in this case 40 millimetres. Then add a known distance onto this measurement and mark this onto the pipe with a pencil. Once the joint is finished, this mark will show if the pipe has been fully inserted. Ensure the joint surfaces are clean and free from moisture. Then clean all surfaces, both on the pipe and the fitting, thoroughly with DuraPipe Eco Cleaner using a lint-free cloth or paper towel. Before applying the cement, it's important to stir thoroughly with an appropriate tool. The cement should run off the tool as shown. Using an appropriate sized brush, apply cement to the pipe and fitting, making sure to cover all of the joint surface with cement. It's important to apply the cement quickly to enable assembly without excessive force being required. This is particularly important when jointing bigger pipe sizes, where two operatives would be preferred, one applying cement to the fitting and one to the pipe. Immediately after the application of cement, push the fitting fully home onto the pipe and hold for a few seconds. This time will be longer for larger sizes. Do not twist the pipe, but slight adjustment to the orientation of the fitting can be made immediately after insertion. Application of the correct quantity of solvent will result in a neat bead of cement around the neck. Any excess can be wiped away. Using the previous mark, check that the pipe has been fully inserted. Do not disturb the pipe for the initial setting time. For full curing times, consult your DuraPipe technical information.